Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the scaling issue with Inkscape whenever you're opening the industry standard of Illustrator um, files that were made with them. So basically I have this Xbox gaming stand file. I already opened it with Illustrator here. As you can see, it's just over 16 inches. And if you open it with uh, Inkscape, let me go ahead and open that really quickly here. Once uh, that opens and you actually highlight all this, you can see it is, what if I change it to inches here, just over 12 inches uh, wide here. So I, as you can see, that's a pretty big difference. I'll show you the exact difference here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this from um, Illustrator and paste it into Inkscape. So as you can see how big of a difference that is when you first open it. Obviously, if you print this off, it's not going to work correctly. So let me go ahead and delete what I just copied and pasted there. And I'm going to show you how to actually scale this up correctly. So what you want to do, once you have it all highlighted, just go up to File, click Document Properties. And then all you got to do is change this from pixels to inches. Um, and then right here is your scaling issue. So the scale is set at 96. You're going to go ahead and change that to 72 and hit Enter on your keyboard. As you can see, it already got bigger in the background. All you gotta do is hit X. And now it is all scaled up. It should be the proper size now. Um, just to show you that it's the proper size now, we're going to go back to Illustrator. We're gonna copy this one more time. I'm gonna paste it in here, and then we can just overlay that just like that. And there you go. Um, th that is the whole scaling issue in Inkscape here. Let me go ahead and delete this copy that I just made and show you the original that's behind it still. So this is the scaled up version that we just did. What I'm going to do is go ahead and file, save as, and then we're going to just name this Inkscape test. And then make sure it's an Inkscape SVG still, and then hit save. So that's pretty much it. You successfully scaled the file back up. From this point forward, if you use that new SVG that you saved, um, you can make edits to it in Inkscape um, and then save it as is, and you're good to go. Um, so let's go ahead and show you this in the Glowforge UI now that it's uh, accurate. So we're going to go ahead and click Upload. I'm going to do that Inkscape test that we just saved, and we're going to upload that. And as you can see, that has now uploaded. Now what we're going to do is we're going to upload one more time the original uh, gaming stand here. And once that's done processing, I'll just overlay them like I did before so you can see that. There we go. And we have, let me go ahead and use the arrows so I can overlay it properly there. There we go. So as you can see, we've got pretty much all one file there, it looks like, but technically it's two files behind each other um, because it's the same exact size now. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That is the scaling issue with Inkscape and how to fix it. Um, now, one thing that you do want to keep in mind is your material thickness, like I showed in another video, and I kind of covered this in that troubleshooting video as well, but I wanted to make this a whole separate video all together in case you were having an issue with Inkscape and directly needed help with that. Um, past this, I can't really troubleshoot Inkscape because I've never used it before other than this just to show the scaling and how to fix the scaling with this because some people were having issues with this depending on what version of Inkscape you're on. Um, so you, you do want to make sure you change your slots here um, if you have thicker material or thinner material than what I use, just like I did in that other video. But that's pretty much it, you guys. That is the entire video on how to change the Inkscape scaling issue when you're opening a file that was made with Illustrator. Um, you may run into this quite a bit from time to time, if you uh, depending on the version or issue with your Inkscape program or a third party program that I don't know how to correct other than this. This was submitted to me by another user. Um, so I want to make this publicly available. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we'll catch you guys next time. And it was a pleasure talking with you today.